In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the new Save to Previous Version option inside of SOLIDWORKS 2024. As you can see, we are inside of SOLIDWORKS 2024, and I have this example part created here. So this example part is just a boss extrude with a cut extrude in the middle that has been patterned to the right and to the left. So let's say, for example, that I was collaborating with a supplier who is on an older version of SOLIDWORKS, and we need to send them this part. What we can do is we can save the part by going to File, Save As, and in the Save As Type drop down menu, you can see up at the top, we can save this as a SOLIDWORKS 2023 or a SOLIDWORKS 2022 part, up to two years prior to the latest release. So in our case, that is 2023 and 2022 part. At the top, you will see SOLIDWORKS part. This is referring to the active version. In our case, we'll go ahead and save this as a 2022 part. We'll give this file a name, and when I go ahead and press save, you'll notice that this incompatible items window appears. This is letting us know that inside of this linear pattern one feature, there is an option that is new to 2024. It's telling us that the symmetric option for direction 2 in the pattern feature, and what can we do to fix this? We can disable the symmetric for direction 2 in this feature. So this dialog box is letting us know that we can leave this box open while addressing incompatible items in the model. So while leaving this open, I can go ahead and edit my linear pattern 1 feature, and we can see this symmetric option, which is new to 2024. This is what's not allowing us to save to 2022. I can go ahead and uncheck this box. And we'll get the same outcome by fixing our model here. So by changing the settings and getting the same desired outcome by not using the symmetric option, we can now press update and the dialog box lets us know that the current document is fully compatible with SOLIDWORKS 2022 and we are now ready to save the document. So I can close out of this box and we can now go ahead and choose save as. I'll give this a name and save this as a SOLIDWORKS 2022 part. When I go ahead and press save, we can see it saves that file. And if I were to go to open up SOLIDWORKS 2022, I can now go ahead and open up that 2022 example part here. And with our 2022 file open inside of SOLIDWORKS 2022, we can see the file inside of 2022 looks normal. There is no missing information and all of the features act appropriately. So this has been saved to previous version inside of SOLIDWORKS 2024. If you've liked this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.